The first topic is GST. Okay, that is goods and service tax. So we'll be doing all the important questions which are there, all the types of questions which are there, and these will be helpful for your last minute revision courses. So let us start the class. Okay. So the uh, before I start the class, one good motivation work, uh, motivation quote which I would like to tell you all that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't hard work. All right. So if there is something like you will, when you will see na, someone, oh, he is very talented. He is very that. Okay. It does not mean that if someone is talented, that means he is going to be the winner all around. No. The person who is working hard can beat the one even with having a talent. All right. So hard work beats everything. Not just talents. Hard work beats everything. All right. So always focus, be focused and start working hard towards your goal. All right. Now, the first question we have is this. Goods and services are sold from Kota to Mumbai for rupees 20,000 and then Mumbai to Pune. Okay. So, three stoppages we have. We have Kota to Mumbai and then Mumbai to Pune. All right. What they are saying now? Okay. Then from Mumbai to Pune, if the rate of GST is 12 percentage, uh, and the profit made at Mumbai is rupees 5000 then find the net GST paid by the dealer at Pune. Okay, what will be the net GST paid by the dealer at Pune? So, uh, understand here beta, one thing you need to understand. Okay, goods from Kota to from Rajasthan to Mumbai were sold at 4 rupees 20,000. Alright, and then the rate of GST is 12 percentage throughout this part and the profit made at Mumbai is rupees 5000. The Mumbai person made a profit of 5,000. So they are saying find the net GST paid by the dealer at the Pune. Pune, if the dealer at Pune is an end user, so the one who is end user will pay the whole GST. We all know the GST is a, a tax collection system in which the whole GST is collected, by, is, is, is submitted by the end user. Right? Submitted is, uh, sorry, the whole GST is paid by the end user, but it is collected by the government at different points. Yes. Correct. So that the total GST paid by the dealer at Pune means how whatever is the total GST uh, will be the net GST paid at the Pune because he is the end user. So there is no output GST, input GST, nothing like that. All right. So now I will say over here. So see, twenty thousand was the price when Kota to Mumbai it was sold. When it came to Mumbai, the person has added rupees five thousand as the profit. So I can say in this Mumbai to Pune transaction. Okay, I can say the cost or the price for this Mumbai person, he since he's uh, making a profit of 5,000, so I can say selling price over here will be rupees 25,000. Rate of GST is uh, 12 percentage, find the GST. So 12 percentage is the GST, so I can GST will be 12 percentage of 25,000. This to this, this to this got cancelled. So you can clearly see rupees 3000 is your GST. So this is the final GST paid by the dealer at Pune or he is the end user rupees 3000. Simple question. Nothing difficult. Nothing difficult over here. Right. So in this achha, one more thing is this in this GST as you can see rupees 1500 will be going under CGST and rupees 1500 will be going under SGST because it is Mumbai to Pune within the state only Maharashtra state it is being done so 1500 goes for CGST 15 goes for SGST all right next part they go let's look at the next question next question is this the tax invoice of a telecom service in Meerut shows cost of services provided by it, uh, it at rupees 750 the GST is 8 percent 18 percentage find the amount of the bill so see the services whatever they are providing the cost for them is rupees 750 so how much will be the GST GST will be 18 percentage of 750 right this to this got cancelled you can say 5 twos are and this will be 5 15s are all right and 5 ones are 5 threes are oh sorry 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 i made it wrong here 5 twos are it is 5 twos are 5 twos are 
तो टू वन जो टू नाइन जो तो नाइन इंटू फिफ्टीन वन थर्टी फाइव सो टोटल कॉस्ट और टोटल अमाउंट विल बी इक्वल टू सेवन फिफ्टी प्लस वन थर्टी फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव एट एट रुपीज एट एटी फाइव ओके रुपीज एट एटी फाइव विल बी द फाइनल अमाउंट और द टोटल फाइनल अमाउंट All right. Let's go for the next question. The next question is this: What are you saying? Mr. Pankaj took health insurance policy for his family and paid rupees nine hundred as SGST. Find the total annual premium paid by him for the policy rate of GST being eighteen percent. So see, health insurance policy for his family. He has paid nine hundred as as SGST. So if SGST is let's say nine hundred. I know C C G S T Central G S T will also be nine hundred. So final net G S T total G S T कितना होगा बेटा net G S T और total G S T is eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Let us say the policy, the annual premium is let's say X. The premium amount on which the G S T is applied is say X. All right. So eighteen percentage of this X is equal to G S T. And GST being here, how much? Eighteen hundred. Plus simple, so X is equal to eighteen hundred into hundred upon eighteen. This to this got cancelled. X is equal to ten thousand. Okay. So the premium amount, the annual premium amount is ten thousand. Simple question, right? It is being what? Ten thousand. Next question. For the following transaction within Delhi, find the amount of bill. Uh, MRP is rupees twelve thousand. Discount is thirty percentage and GST being eighteen percentage. Okay, so what they are saying, MRP is given twelve thousand. Discount is thirty percentage. Okay, discount is how much? Discount is thirty percentage and GST is eighteen percentage. So what they are saying, find the total amount of the bill. So I can clearly say that MRP is rupees twelve thousand. <coughs> Sorry, twelve thousand discount. <coughs> discount is thirty percentage if they are saying. So I can clearly say that sir, discount is here thirty percentage. So discount in money, how much it will be? So discount will be thirty percentage of twelve thousand. So it will be thirty six hundred. So discounted price, which will be your selling price, will be now. From twelve thousand, subtract three thousand six hundred, which is equal to eight thousand four hundred. This is the selling price. Now GST. This is the selling price on which GST is applied. So GST is how much? GST is eighteen percentage of selling price. This got cancer. Well, it's uh, rupees one five one two. So final amount or total amount of the bill, final amount of the bill will be eight four double zero plus one five one two, which is equal to one two four plus five nine eight plus one nine rupees nine nine one two will be the final amount. <coughs> rupees nine nine one two will be your final amount. Okay. Acha. This tax which I have shown over here, out in which. Seven fifty six rupees will be going under CGST under SGST divided into equal parts. So I have done it together only. All right. So rupees nine nine one two will be your uh, final amount of this bill. Simple है, है ना? So first MRP from MRP reduce the discount of rupees three thousand six hundred. You got your selling price. On selling price apply the GST. You will get add both. You will get your final amount rupees nine nine one two. All right. Next question. A manufacturer sold a TV to a wholesaler. At a at a profit of rupees ten thousand, whose manufacturing cost is twenty five thousand. Okay, so manufacturing cost is twenty five thousand and uh, sold at a profit of thousand. So that means he sold it to the wholesaler at a price of twenty five plus ten or twenty five plus one twenty six thousand. Right? Later, what they have told the wholesaler sold it to trader at a profit of rupees thousand. Wholesaler has further sold it at a profit of rupees ten or, or profit of rupees thousand. So from twenty five price increase to twenty six and then it is increased to twenty seven. If the trader sold it to a customer at a profit of rupees fifteen hundred, find the total GST collected by the state government at the rate of eighteen percentage. Now listen very carefully over here. See, first thing is manufacturer. 
manufacturer to it went to wholesaler wholesaler to it went to trader and from trader to it went to customer now let's look at the price selling price at all the points okay so if this manufacturing one manufacturer sold a tv to a wholesaler at a profit of 1000 the manufacturing cost is 25000 so here he sold him at the profit of 1000 so 25000 plus 1000 he has sold it which is rupees 26000 then the wholesaler also sold it to a profit at rupees 1000 so now wholesaler has sold it at rupees 26000 plus his rupees 1000 profit so wholesaler sold it selling price over here is rupees 27000 and then the trader sold it at the profit of rupees 1500 so trader sold it at rupees 27000 is the price at which he has bought plus rupees 1500 his profit so he has sold it at rupees 28500 so this is the selling price from trader to customer trader to customer this is the selling price rupees 28500 all right now the total gst is 18 percentage out of which 9 percentage will go as central gst and 9 percentage will go as state gst clearly it is telling you the tax collected by the state government state government at the rate of 18 percent so out of 18 percentage only 9 percentage will go for sgst so sgst collected over here will be 9 percentage of 28500 two zeros to so two zeros got cancelled nine five is a 45 power 4 nine eight is a 72 plus 4 is 76 power 7 18 plus 7 will be equal to 25 rupees 2565 will be the tax collected by the state government rupees 2565 uh, 2, 2, will be the tax collected by the state government now you can see the question seems very lengthy but it is not right it is not that lengthy all right only thing about this part and since they have only asked me the total gst collected by that so i know that the whole gst will be paid by the customer so i have looked at the final part okay if they will ask me how much uh, gst is collected by the state from the wholesaler or from the trader in that case i have to find each and everything but here directly they have told me how much gst i told okay final gst let's get the answer all right next question now see here for a dealer uh, for a dealer a sorry for a dealer a the list price of an article is rupees 9000 which he sells to dealer b at some lower price further dealer b sells the same article to a customer at its list price if the rate of GST is 18 percentage and the dealer B paid a tax under GST equal to rupees 324 to the government, find the amount inclusive of GST paid by dealer B. All right. Now see, although the question is very lengthy, let's break it into smaller parts. Okay. See, there is a person dealer A and the list price. List price means your mark price is rupees 9000, which he so sells to dealer B at some lower price. So transition is happening between A to B. A sold it at some lower price. Further, dealer B sells the same article to a customer at its list price. B, what has he has done? By C, A sold him at some price lower. But B sold it again at 9000 only. B sold it at 9000 only. If the rate of GST is 18 percentage and dealer B paid a tax under GST equal to rupees 324, uh, to the government find the amount inclusive of GST. Now, they go see if dealer B has paid a power suppose rupees 324. Dealer B has paid suppose rupees 324 to the government. In that case, I can clearly say the dealer B will be paying the net GST. Dealer B will be paying the net GST. That means dealer B will be paying how much? So, dealer B will be paying first how much tax whatever tax he has collected from the c minus tax paid by b when he was when b was dealing with a right output minus input so i can say net gst paid by b will be equal to c how much c from b to c transition how much tax will be collected see b sold it at the same price 9000 only same article to a customer at its list price. So B sold it to C at rupees 9000 and rate of GST is 18 percentage. So 18 percentage of 
I can say the price 9000. This is the tax collected by B from C. Subtract whatever he has paid while dealing with A. So A sold it at some price lower. Kuch paise kam pe bicha tha. Let us say A sold the article at say or uh, say matlab, A reduce the price. Let us say A reduce the price of the article by X. Let us say a reduced the price of the article by x okay let's say a reduced the price of article by rupees x so in this case from a to b what will the price the price will be 9000 minus x this is the price at which b got or a sold the material so here the gst will be 18 by 100 times of 9000 minus x all right so this part will be solving it okay so i can say so net gst paid by b is equal to 18 percentage of 9000 minus 18 percentage of 9000 minus x all right net gst is 324 here if i cancel this to this 18 9 162 minus 1620 minus into minus will become plus 18 by 100 times of x this to this got cancelled so x is equal to 324 into 100 upon 18 18 ones are 18 18 times 18 into 100 is 1800 so the price reduced was 1800 price reduced was 1800 so, A sold it at the price of 9000 minus 1800 that is 7200. But this is not the question. They are saying find the amount inclusive of GST paid by dealer B. How much B paid to A? How much B paid to A? So, I know in A to B, okay, the selling price for A was rupees 7200. How 7200? 9000 minus 1800. And GST rate of GST is 18 percentage. So GST will be 18 percentage of 7200. This to this, this to this got cancelled. One two nine six rupees. One two nine six. All right. So final amount paid by B. Paid by B will be 7200 plus 1296 so here it will be equal to 6 9 2 plus 2 4 7 plus 1 8 rupees 8496 rupees 8496 all right okay chalo again look okay let's go for the next question now now <coughs> what is this uh, this question saying see for a trader mark price of a refrigerator is rupees 15680 inclusive of the gst inclusive of gst at the rate of 12 percentage on the mark price gagan a customer for this refrigerator asked the asked the trader to reduce the price of the refrigerator to such an extent that its reduced price plus gst on it is equal to the mark price of the refrigerator find the reduce required reduction the question hai na? if you look at the size of the question you will think that it is very difficult hai, bahut difficult hai, bahut difficult hai. I might say it is a bit lengthy but not that difficult. Okay, let's understand. Break this part question one by one. Let, whatever we will understand, we will start doing that. Okay, so first thing, trader for a trader, mark price is how much? 15,680. Inclusive of GST. So this is the price inclusive of GST at the rate of 12 percentage on the mark price. Okay. For a trader, mark price of a refrigerator is equal to so this is the price inclusive of the gst this is the final price inclusive of gst so i don't know what is the mark price over here okay mark price plus gst no sorry the, what is the selling price over here what is the selling price over here we don't know this is the final price this is the final price actually it should be for a trader final price of the refrigerator inclusive of gst at this on the mark price okay so the final price on the here i think final price this is the final price inclusive of gst na? final price Gagan, a customer for this refrigerator, what he's saying, asked the trader to 
to reduce the price of the refrigerator to such extent itna kam karo such that its reduced price plus gst on it is equal to the mark price of the refrigerator ab beta dekho we do not know the mark price of the refrigerator yet so first thing by i can say ki sir trader is giving me the let's say mark price is equal to x so trader what he is saying that in mark price plus if i add 12 percentage of x then this total price is equal to 15680 so if i add them it is 112 by 100 into x is equal to 15680 so x is equal to 15680 into 100 upon 112 upon 112222 say no go Fourteen times, four and forty times. So x is equal to fourteen thousand. Okay, this is what forty thousand. This is the mark price. This is what the mark price. Now, once we got to know, okay, this is the mark price on which if I apply the GST of twelve percentage, then the final price is rupees fifteen thousand six hundred and eighty. Okay, so the first part is clear to us. This much part we have cleared. Whatever question we required, we have cleared that much part. Later, it is saying Gagan is a customer. He asks, what he asks for? he asked the trader to reduce the price of the refrigerator to such extent that kitna reduce karna hai beta how much he wanted to be reduced how much he wanted to be reduced kaise reduce karna hai what is his condition reduce in such a way such that reduced price plus gst on it is equal to the mark price of the refrigerator matlab what the other is saying you see dekho He saw that on your refrigerator, refrigerator the mark price is fourteen thousand. He told, "I have finally total. I have only fourteen thousand. I can pay to you only rupees forty thousand, fourteen thousand, not a single rupees more than that." So you do one thing: you adjust the price, you change the selling price. Don't sell me, sell this to me at fourteen thousand. Reduce the price and sell me it in such a way that even including after after including GST also, I have to pay fourteen thousand. If suppose if the shopkeeper if the trader will sell this refrigerator to the uh, to the customer to Gagan at suppose rupees fourteen thousand only so he has to pay GST extra on that so Gagan told keep I want the final price to be fourteen thousand what Gagan told I want the final price for Gagan okay what Gagan told Gagan told keep it as G I want the final price to be fourteen thousand that means Gagan is saying. Ki whatever is your selling price, keep the selling price in such a way that selling price plus GST for me is equal to only fourteen thousand only. So how much reduction is required? How much reduction is required? Let us say <coughs> the required reduction is of rupees X. Required reduction is of rupees X. So what I can do over here is, sir, since the required reduction is of rupees X. So now the selling price will be equal to rupees fourteen thousand minus x, right? Fourteen thousand minus x. But earlier the mark price was say fourteen thousand. Now the price is reduced, so it is fourteen thousand minus x. Okay? And GST rate of GST rate of GST is at what? Twelve percentage. So GST applicable on it will be fourteen thousand minus x. It's twelve percentage. And overall, adding these two will be your final price. So I can say, sir, fourteen thousand minus x plus twelve percentage of fourteen thousand minus x is equal to the final price, fourteen thousand. All right. So this will be equal to fourteen thousand minus x plus twelve by hundred into fourteen thousand. If I will do two zeros, so two zeros will get cancelled. Zero plus one six eight zero minus twelve by hundred into x because it is plus only twelve by hundred into x minus twelve x by hundred is equal to fourteen thousand. So this fourteen thousand, this fourteen thousand got cancelled. Shift minus x and this over there. So I can say minus x will become plus x. 
minus 12x by 100 will become plus 12x by 100 is equal to 1680. Take LCM. So you'll be getting 112x by 100 is equal to 1680. So x is equal to 1680 into 100 upon 112. So it will be going. One six eight zero. Is it getting cancelled? Hundred and twelve one times. Let's do the division there. One six eight zero. Let's divide by hundred and twelve. So hundred and twelve one time one one two. Uh, eight minus two is six. Uh, is five. Uh, you are getting five sixty. So I think it will go four times, five times, five times it will be five six zero. Oh, five sixty. Ah, five times, five sixty. Done. So it is going fifteen times. So fifteen into hundred is rupees fifteen hundred. So the price reduction required reduction will be rupees fifteen hundred. That means the selling price for Gagan for when he the deal was done. The selling price will be 14,000 minus X, which is uh, minus 1500, which means he will be selling it uh, at rupees 12,500. And on that, if I include the GST at rupees 1200, so that 1500 again will become GST. So final price will be uh, will be 14,000. Got it? So this was the important part. This was the important part that the selling price plus GST should be equal to 14,000 for Gagan. Selling price, let's say, will be let's say the required reduction is rupees x so selling price is 14000 minus x on that gst will be 14000 minus x into 12 by 100 selling price plus gst must be equal to 14000 so selling price plus gst equal to 14000 i solved it i got x is equal to rupees 1500 okay so 1500 is your required reduction all right beta now those students who are interested in joining vedantos pro course okay there is a very wonderful opportunity for all of you because see here what you will be getting first thing let me tell you about the features which you are going to get at Vedantu Pro subscription. What you are going to get with that is first thing you are going to get unlimited live classes. You can attend as many live classes as you want. There is no restriction on those and all the live classes are going to be filled with fun level, high level quizzes. The Madhadar quizzes are going to be Right. Second thing, you'll be able to get exposure with all the students all over the world. Many students from different parts of the country, different parts of the world. So you'll also be able to chat with that, interact with them, and you'll also be able to know that how where do you stand, what extra efforts you need to do. Now suppose as I was talking about the quizzes. Suppose if you miss your quizzes, in that case if you miss your any of the live class. So in that case, it does not mean that when you will watch the recording, so you have to watch it like a movie and you cannot do anything in the quizzes. If you will go for, uh, you will go for the replays, okay, alternate replays if you try, in that also, in the replays also, we have the uh, facility for you to attempt the quizzes and also see your name on the leaderboard once, uh, when, when the leaderboard will be shown. Okay, so that's an awesome opportunity. No one else has this part of giving the quizzes even while watching the replays, even while watching the replays, okay? After that, whatever I'm teaching you, you can download that as uh, handwritten notes in my own handwriting, all the solutions, everything. So that you can have a scheduled notes, okay? You can have a, you don't have to pray, say, uh, spend or waste most of your time in writing long, big notes. All the notes will be there. Huh, you can always make your short formula notes and all those, you can always make for it. But you will get scheduled notes, handwritten notes for the teacher so that you can go through them whenever you want. Also, if there are doubts, suppose if you are getting doubts in that, so don't worry, we have a two teacher uh, pattern over here where one master teacher and one class teacher will also be present and uh, highly dedicated class teachers who will be taking care of your doubts and uh, whatever doubts you are asking, they will be referring it to me if, if, if they want to address it to be by me or they will be taking all of your doubts, no doubts will be left unanswered. Also you will be getting the exposure to get uh, to test and assignments after every session you will be getting assignments and uh, test will be done in a periodical time so that you get the exposure to the examination stress okay exam jo 
uh, examination environment so that that stress you can bear while writing the examinations all right and also you'll be able to have the time management part you can manage your time because examination this mock test are very important before giving your final board examination it makes you prepare for the environment which is going to be there to uh, make you help you learn whether you are able to manage your time or not all these things and also you have 5000 plus micro courses and free crash courses for competitive examinations all of that free of course no need to pay anything extra whatever course you like you can just go and join them and there is a variety of courses from like all different types of topics so you can join any of the courses so remember more classes less price so the link for the registration is given in the description box of this video as well as it will also be the pinned comment in the comment section you have to just go there and apply the coupon code gpe pro okay you have to apply the coupon code gpe pro so see what will happen suppose for example if i give you an example suppose this is a video okay on your vedanta 9 10 10th english channel is over here so you can see in the description box of this video here it is shown subscribe to vedanta pro now and this link is given over here if you'll just click on this link you will come to this page now select your grade 10th then your target icsc 2021 as you came here it showed you that plans one month plan is available over here and it is showing rupees 2699 when you will be moving ahead with proceed to pay here in enter coupon code if you will apply gpe pro gpe pro if you will apply over here and click on apply you can see the price is reduced and now it is 2100 and remember this price is inclusive of all the subjects maths physics chemistry biology sst english everything also this is how your schedule for the classes is going to look suppose this is my schedule i have these classes with uh, on with quadratic equations triangles so this way you will also see your pattern okay your sessions also you can see the past sessions previous sessions if you want to see you can get the notes see get notes is sh shown over here you kept clicked on the get notes this is the whole notes over here see quizzes everything everything is present over here right you can also watch replay as well if you want you can watch the replay of those sessions and you can try this alternate replay also in which you can attempt the quizzes and everything all right so all this facility is available to you at Vedantus Pro course and this is the price for one month best teacher right now and better see even if so this is your homework question okay so this is your homework question and one more thing I'm saying suppose even if you will attend say 200 200 classes a month 200 classes means daily five to six classes which you can easily do so even if you are suppose attending 200 classes per month so your price is around uh, 10 rupees or something which is way less like if you compare it to anything else all right so this is your homework question beta please let me know what should be your answer for this homework question okay they are saying find the gst place please let me know what should be your answer to this homework question in the comment section below all right in the comment section below so beta this is all from my side and this is the session today gst the next session will be uh, tomorrow for banking all right so gp pro is the code i have told you already uh, this march 221 is not there that this part is not there this one month course is present over here all right so just go for it all right so thank you so much bachcho. and i hope all of you will be those who will be interested or those those who want to join vedantu for any doubt or anything over here you're more than welcome to join vedantu pro course beta definitely going to help you use the code gpe pro all right so this is all from my side thank you so much bachcho. For joining the session, uh, joining the session, I hope all of you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Like the video if you enjoyed the content and share the video with your friends so that they can also join us over here. Thank you so much, bacho. I'll see you soon in the next class. Till then, bye bye. Sayonara, khudafis to all of you. Bye bye.